Bienvenidos a Hotline TV, Todo Mundo. I'm John Mercurio. <laughs> and I'm Amy Walter. It's nice of you to come back from yeah. Spain. Was sure. it nice? Wow. And yeah, you got a little color. A little sunny. Yeah, it was a good time. But thanks for coming back in time for the primaries. I would not miss Hot Tricks Tuesday for the world. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? It's Make or Break Tuesday, John. But can we really expect this contest is over after all the votes are tallied? What's going on? You know, in answer to your question, mm. I think we ought to just do what uh, my friend uh, Jim Barnes at the National Journal said the other day. Let's just let them vote. You know no. what? Let's just no. let them vote. Let's John, let the people vote. if we vote. let the people vote, then what are we going to talk about That's for the next 36 hours? Yeah. Oh, two and a half minutes, yes. I was going to say. Um, okay. All right. Fine. I'll, I'll, I'll make stuff up. Yeah. Um, sure, she needs to come out of this. We've already seen Bill Richardson, uh, a former opponent turned potential endorser, saying uh, that we think he, he expects that the Democrats are going to have a nominee coming out of Ohio and Texas. The problem for her has been basically ever since Super Tuesday is she's now become a victim of really bad timing. The timing being that you've got a party that's very anxious, not only very anxious about the fact that there's a united Republican uh, party behind McCain, but, you, but anxious about the potential. Uh, role of these superdelegates having right. uh, in the party. They don't want the superdelegates delegates to nominate or to have this role of nominating, so they really want this thing, I think, resolved. And if not tomorrow, then we wait another month uh, for Pennsylvania. So I think coming out of tomorrow, she needs to win both in Texas, probably by 60% or more, uh, and in Ohio. Right. I mean, the, the problem, too, is setting up the expectation game on delegates, right? And it seems like this, the field keeps moving and changing in terms of, well, what's a, when is a win a win and when's a win not a win, which mm -hmm. is on pledge delegates, Hillary Clinton cannot catch up with Barack Obama, right. even if she wins in Ohio, even if she wins in Rhode Island. But it's not going to change the fact that you know, she still will have won big states mm -hmm. and important states, and her coalition has stayed together. Well, has and it's it not going to. I mean, well, that's decide. what we'll find out. It will decide whether the coalition has stayed together or not. So, right. you know, the other thing too is this expectation that she was going to blow at, blow through Ohio. I think was already a little overblown. Much like all the national polls, I mean, we never saw Hillary Clinton in national polls hitting fifty percent. Right. You know, early on, she got she touched it. Early, you know, in in the fall, and then fell back down to earth. Same with Ohio. Mm -hmm. All through two thousand seven, even against people that nobody knew anything about. Right. She was never there. She so was never, so she was, was always, always sort of a at window. a ceiling for, for her. A two or a three point win is now going to be seen as, well, boy, he narrowed it down from 20 points. What does this mean? She's still trying to get traction. Mm -hmm. um, but it just seems to me that, the, and I don't know if this is, we're all exhausted. I understand. I would like to have a little break too, but it seems like you go the to press Spain. is maybe you should go it's to really nice, really this relaxing. Time of the year. It's yeah. beautiful, really relaxing. It just seems to me that the press is just so desperate to get this thing over with mm -hmm. that the expectation setting well, for Hillary Clinton is. Well, is that Clinton exhaustion, is, or is that sort of what we've seen on Saturday Night Live for the past two weeks, which is a you know is that a, is that another sign of a, of, of a, a sort of a favoritism towards Obama? I don't know. Mm -hmm. That's an interesting question. It is, but it does seem that you know they want this thing to be over and done with and do not want to have to spend another month trapped in Scranton or Wilkes-Barre or something like that. I think that's really <laughs> what this comes down to. Admit it, you guys. That's what it's about. All right. Yeah. It is probably something like that. But mm -hmm. I guess we have to wait until tomorrow to see if these contests will finally end the primary battle of 2008. But until then, yo me amo, John Mercurio. Wow, you do a really good job. I'm Amy Walter. We'll see you back here tomorrow in Hotline TV and we'll see if John can still remember how to speak Spanish by then. Mm -hmm.